How's it going everybody? This is Tabo Drabo. Hope you all are having another great day so far and welcome back to another video. So we are officially heading into the holiday season now with next week being Thanksgiving and a very fun holiday is coming up this December. However, as we all know, it's going to be completely different compared to the holidays that we have seen in the past few years. As you know, the coronavirus pandemic has really played a major effect into how we celebrate the holidays. Uh, recently, the CDC recommended that we do not travel in Thanksgiving and I kind of feel that we're going to be seeing the same thing with the holidays unfortunately you know particularly with Hanukkah, Christmas and all of those events that are happening in December because of the rising cases of coronavirus. This pandemic is going to get worse before it gets any better so you know unfortunately this means that we're not going to be able to see a lot of our family and friends and you know that's a real big shame. However there is still a lot to be thankful for this year especially with all the things that have been happening in 2020 where there's been a lot of ups and a lot of downs and the same concern we, we said for all of us here because there's always something that we are thankful for every single year of life and this year is no different. So for this video I'm going to be sharing you the five things that I'm most thankful for in 2020 and why they have been important as I continue to take the next step in my life. So the fifth thing that I'm most thankful for this year is the life that I currently have right now. As you know as I've mentioned before this is my last semester in college and very soon I'm going to be entering the adult world. World. I'm going to be able to start finding jobs in the media and film industry and I'm going to have more time to do things like YouTube and hanging out with my friends and family and even play a lot of my PlayStation consoles, even start video game collection and you know, doing a whole bunch of other fun stuff. You know, the last few years I've been focusing a lot on college and you know, that's really played a lot in my life and I've also had to find a few part-time jobs to be able to make the money so that way I can pay for college as well as some of the other things that I've also wanted to get. But you know, everything in my life so far has been almost the way I've wanted to be so far. And, you know, I'm just thankful for all the friends and family that have been able to help me every step of the way and be able to celebrate the life that I have right now. You know, God has given us the ability to be able to live freely and I feel like God has given me a real opportunity to succeed as I now exit college. And, you know, I just can't be any more thankful for the life that I currently have right now because, you know, there are a lot of great things that are out there in this world that I haven't yet experienced. And, you know, I'm gonna have a great opportunity to do that after next month and so yeah I'm just very thankful for the life that I have right now. The fourth thing that I'm most thankful for this holiday season is for the safety of me and my fellow friends and family along with all the citizens here in the United States. As we all know the coronavirus pandemic has really played a massive effect when it comes to all of our health not just you know when it comes to getting the virus but also mentally as well because you know, a lot of us have had to deal with depression during this time and you know, a lot of stuff that has really affected our lives as well. Not only that, you know, there's been a lot of issues in the world as well, you know, like all the Black Lives Matter stuff, all the issues regarding what's happening overseas, and we're always fearful for our safety and our health, and we always don't know what's going to happen next. But, you know, this is why we gotta thank all the people that are serving in the military, along with all of our healthcare workers and armed forces members, along with all those that are serving in the police, and all the activists that are out there to make sure that everybody is living freely and equally as well. You know, these are tough times and over the next few years, you know, it's going to get a lot tougher. And thankfully, you know, it's because of these group of people that we are allowed to continue to be here today and to get to do all the things that we enjoy. And without them, you know, we wouldn't have this opportunity to have freedom here in America. And more importantly, to allow me to get the venture into this world and be able to explore the many new things that I haven't yet experienced. So to all of you guys, thank you for helping to protect us from harm's way and you know giving us the opportunity to be able to celebrate this holiday season in a peaceful manner, even if we're not being able to travel to see our families during this time because of the coronavirus pandemic. And also to keep us safe as well from all the issues that are happening in this world right now. The third thing that I'm most thankful for this Thanksgiving is for my health. Obviously it has been for quite a number of reasons, but most importantly, my weight loss. As I've mentioned before, at this time last year, I was in very bad shape. I was heavily overweight. I was barely even doing any sort of activity that's physical. But now over the last few months, I have seen a dramatic change in the weight of my body and I'm now physically active again. I'm now in the best shape of my life and I'm now free to go out and just do a lot of walking and get to experience the environment. You know, just enjoy life and peace out there and more importantly to just 
be healthy again. Not only that, I also have a lot of family and friends that have been able to check on me to make sure that I'm okay. And you know, just more importantly, just mentally free myself from all the issues that are happening out there in this world. And you know, just the way that my health has changed from last year to now, it's just completely different. You know, at this time last year, we were just talking about me, you know, just trying to avoid potentially looking really fat and potentially having some sort of heart attack or a stroke or something like that. And now, all of a sudden, here I am a year later, I'm in much better shape now than I've been for almost several years now. And obviously, I do plan to continue that lifestyle in future years as well. So that way, I can remain where I am now and continue to get myself physically active in the near future. So. Obviously, I'm thankful for my health and for everything that I've been through the last few months to be able to get to where I am now health-wise and to be in the best shape that I can possibly be in my life. The second thing that I'm most thankful for this holiday season is the fact that I'm now almost done with college. Yes, I know, it, it's kind of weird, but the thing is, is that I've had to do quite a lot of work the last four and a half years to be able to get to this point where I'm now just one month away from getting my bachelor's degree, which is, by the way, the equivalent of four weeks. And it had to take a lot of help from a lot of my professors and some of my classmates that I've gotten to spend time with as well. Just be able to help me get to this point over these last four and a half years, not just at Kenyon University, but from where I started at Union County College as well. And through all the special things that I got to do, you know, Phi Beta Kappa, Kane TV, the internship that I got to do at Best Buddies New Jersey, you know, there's been quite a number of things during college that I got to do that has helped me with my social life. And not only that, I'm performing very well. As I've mentioned before, I've been straight A's in every semester but one, you know, spring of 2018, you know, I'm doing very well academically. And that's just something that wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the help that I got from all my professors and classmates. And without them, I wouldn't be able to get to this point where I can now say that I'm now almost there to my bachelor's degree from King University. So, so yeah, that's why I'm very thankful for all my professors and all my classmates that I got to spend time with for helping me get to this point and now get myself one step closer to my bachelor's degree from King University. Now, is it possible that I can get a master's degree in the future? Absolutely, I'm not ruling anything out whatsoever, you know. I have been working at Tisch School of the Arts at New York University. I've been working at Emerson College. I've been also working at quite a bit of top level master's degree colleges where they have graduate degree programs in television and filmmaking that I can definitely go into. But, you know, it, it's gonna take a lot for that. And that's because unlike the last four years, I'm gonna have to learn to pay for it myself. But yeah, I don't rule anything out at this point. But as I've mentioned before, I'm now a month away from my bachelor's degree and I just can't be any more thankful for everybody at King University and Union County College for helping me get to this point. But out of all the things that I'm thankful for this year, the number one thing that I'm most thankful for this year are the friends and family that I have with me. You know, these are the people that have been most important to me. They are the reason why I have been able to get to this point in my life after everything that I've been through the last 23 years. You know, through my diagnosis with autism, through all the struggles that I went through when I was in elementary school all the way through high school, and for all the moves that I've even had to go through, you know, from living in Union to Chatham and Livingston and now here at Springfield, I have made quite a large number of friends during that time. And at the same time, you know, my family has been there with me as well. You know, my dad, my stepmom, and my younger brother, Ryan, you know, they have been there to support me. They were there with me for my community college graduation. And hopefully when this pandemic ends next year, hopefully before May, you know, they will be there to celebrate my graduation from King University with me when we have the actual commencement there. If that actually ends up happening, which hopefully we do. And also all my aunts, uncles, grandparents that are a part of my family as well. You know, they've been there for me and I've been there for them as well. And we've just celebrated a lot of very fun times with each other. And especially during the year that we have had this year, it has just been a lot of crazy stuff that has been happening in this world. And you know, we've relied on each other quite a bit over the course of this year to get through 2020. And you know, these are the people that have been very important to me in my life and all the friends that I've had as well like I've mentioned before in Union County College and at Kane University whether it's through PTK or K 
Kane TV or at my internships. You know, it's gonna be hard for me to be able to continue to connect with them outside of college because, you know, obviously I'm gonna start going into working in the media and film industry soon. You know, it's gonna be hard for me to be able to keep up with them. So I do have social media. I do have YouTube here, which I'm doing right now to be able to continue to do so. But most important, you know, I wanna be able to continue meeting with them face to face and through group hangouts and activities as well. So as I've mentioned before, hopefully there's a way where I can continue to connect with my friends so I can meet with them in person and you know just hang out with each other, have some fun because as we all know, we only have one life. We only live once. So, you know, obviously we gotta do the best we can to continue to keep in touch with each other and you know just have fun with each other because we really don't know what's going to happen next. You know, my friends have been there to make sure that I'm happy, that I enjoy doing what I'm doing. And so I'm gonna do the best I can to repay the favor and try to see if I can keep in touch with them and be able to continue to hang out with them and just have a good time with them. And so yeah, you know, my friends and family, those are really the most important things that I have in my life right now. And after everything we've been through this year, I can tell you right now, I wouldn't be able to get to this point in my life without my friends and family because those are the ones that have been able to help me get to this point. So that is really the thing that I am most thankful for this holiday season. And so basically after everything that we have been through this year, you know, it's always very important to work back at all the positives that have happened in 2020. And it really doesn't matter where you find it, whether it's through you know, something in your personal life or something that you celebrate with your friends, maybe even a special birthday or holiday celebration or anything like that. There's always something positive that comes out of every single year we celebrate that always ends up staying in our memories for the rest of our life. So yeah, whatever you're planning on doing this holiday season, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of that, and even New Year's, do your best to celebrate with as many friends and family as possible because it's gonna be very hard for us to see each other during this time with the coronavirus pandemic and all of that but there's still a lot to celebrate in life so you know, do the best you can to celebrate this holiday season because there's always something special that's gonna come out on the other side of it all right that's it for today's video hope you all enjoyed it as always if you like to see more of my content be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when my latest video is released as always be sure to comment below on future suggestions for my videos whether or not it's through vlogs projects challenges anything like that be sure to let me know and i'll do my best to try and make them and as always follow me on social media all the links are in the description below that's going to do it for this video hope you're all having a great day enjoy the holiday season this upcoming month and as always i hope to see you all again in another video very soon so long everybody